want to talk today about how to use your calculator to build composite functions um, using the TI Inspire CAS calculator. But I think this will work on the Inspire too because we're not doing any solve functions. So this is all I want to do. I just want to start here, have my CAS on. I went to the home screen, hit calculator. So here's calculator here. And all I want to do is start by the, let's just, de let's just uh, define a function here and let's let one function equal 2x. And let's say 2x, and then control store. That's you storing that function in your calculator, f of x. Then hit enter. Now it's defined. It's already in your calculator. And then if you don't mind, you want to do the, the next function and let that function be, um, let me see, uh, g of x equals x plus 1. So we'll do it backwards, x plus 1. And remember, we hit control store. And we said that that's going to be g of x for us, g of x. I hit enter. So you're taking the SAT, you're taking whatever, and, you, and you're confused about some co composite function thing. You store these two things, especially if you started looking and realize, oh my gosh, there's a series of questions that are using the same equations over and over. So what if you want to know what is f of x plus g of x? So f of x plus g of x. Hit enter. Now, if you remember that the first, right, this is the first equation, here's the second equation. So, 2x's plus an x is 3x's plus this one is that. Pretty good, right? Okay, what else could you do? You could do f of x times g of x. So, that's a possibility on the SAT that they ask you to find this f of x times g of x times g of x. And hit enter. And that's true also. I wonder if I do it this way. Control. Uh, yeah, I guess what I wish it had done is this. It's giving, giving this in its simplest form. But this is 2x times this. This is true, but I wish it had given us 2x squared plus 2x, right? I wish it had distributed this inside of that. But I guess all things considered. Let's see if it will do this. Let's do f of x divided by g of x. The way I would do that to do division on this calculator is control division. And I would type f of x at the top. I would type g of x at the bottom. g of x at the bottom. And then hit enter. And then there's that. Okay. Um, from here, of course, everybody knows that you can also just do something as simple as this. You can take f of 2, right? And it just right takes the initial equation here. f of x is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. But look, you could also take f of, what, let's start here, I guess. You could take, you can take f of g of x, right? f of g of x, so every place in f that you find in x, you put g of x and you hit enter, and you get that thing, right? So, but having said that, you could also take that for a numeric value like f of g of 2, right? And it takes f of 2 and then put, takes that numeric value and plugs it back into f of x, and you get that back up. That's actually very cool. What we and I are going to discover together is can it do, if on the SAT or some other test, if it asks you to find, if it gives you two functions and it asks you to make them composite, can, will it take f of g of n I think if, so they ask you this abstract question it will, well, of n and look at that it will give you that it will give you that so that's actually really really cool because sometimes on the SAT when you're doing your work they ask you these questions but they don't give you a number they they, they give you to, <laughs> sorry this to you in an abstract way so look just to finish this up really quick from here, we can go to, to your calcu to the graphing part of your calculator, and you can, of course, type it. You can, instead of typing f of x in, again, the equation, you can just do f. See, it's bold there, so it's saying it recognizes that as an equation, f of x. And we knew that that was 2x, and, of course, this is 2x, right? An increase, right? When x is 1, y is 2 right here, so that is this function. The bad news of it is you have to remember what f of x was because it doesn't 
right? It doesn't show it to you. It's not going to read it back to you what that was. But you could also graph, check this out. This is actually pretty cool. All the things that you could do on the other one. Now, if you're in calculus, this becomes really important because sometimes we want to subtract one equation from the other because we're looking for the area enclosed or the area captured between two functions. So if you wanted to know what that looked like, you could do that. You could take your f of x. So you look and you're like, f of x is the higher function on the interval that I'm looking at. So I want to do that, and I want to minus g of x from it, and I want to know what that equation would look like. And hit enter, and that's that equation. That is absolutely, astoundingly cool. Um, and going back to this really quickly just to sum this all up, if you went back to your calculator and you wanted to take f of 2 minus g of 3, you could type in f of 3 minus g of 3 in, or f of whatever number minus g of whatever or any of the functions that you could do on the calculator after, when we just set it up on composite functions you can use that in any um, way you want I hope you'll kind of mess around with this and I'll also hope you'll take a second and maybe go back and look at my video on uh, the other TI cast and the TI inspire cast videos like how to put in a step function because that's something if you know how to do that it's really really great how to use the solve function how to use the analysis here like um, quickly, I want to take the integral of this function from right here, and I want to take it from from here to here, right? If you're a calc student, so there's the area under the curve from here to here, etc. This thing can really, really do some cool stuff. So, okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, I, I think the best thing to do is read the manual on your calculator, look for other people who have videos out, and just mess around with it because you'll become really, really good at it.